All right, so we're gonna start with a very, very small tree. This is a tree that is a natural dwarf, and it's going to demonstrate to us how easy controlling the size and keeping a tree calm can be. So first of all, when you do your pruning, you normally want to do your pruning immediately following harvest, or in this case, we're actually going to harvest this tree. The other thing we're doing is we're harvesting the fruit with the stems so that they don't bleed and end up with uh, latex damage to the, uh, to the fruit. So as we're cutting these fruit off, the one thing to notice is I can harvest this entire tree if I don't drop the fruit. I can harvest this entire tree just like that very quickly gave us about 20 fruit into a box and now the tree is completely harvested and we can do the pruning. So the first thing you want to do with the pruning is we're going to remove the old bloom spikes from this tree. Okay. Now we're removing these bloom spikes because these are the these are the source of, of disease spores that are going to rain down on top of your fruit. So you want to remove all of the old diseased portions of this tree, first of all, just like that. All right, nice and quick. So that's done. Now, the other thing you want to do, because this tree is so small, it's very easy to control, but we still want to keep convincing this tree or work with this tree to continue to hold its size. So the one thing that I will do, because I don't want this tree to become unvigorous, all right, I want to remove some of this big upper branches like this. These are very woody. The leaves are kind of poor quality. You can see they're a little chlorotic because they've had a lot of fruiting. So I've removed that. I'll do the same thing here. Tip these branches so that they're shorter. Removing again, taking this opportunity. Now here's another branch that comes out, very woody branch that is kind of, uh, leaves the tree unbalanced. Took that off, okay. And then I end up basically like that. Now there's, a, there's a, actually another branch in here that I'll remove because it is just not healthy. There. So there we go. That's the whole pruning job that you're going to have to do on this tree uh, for this year. What's going to happen now is this tree and this tree will now come out with flushing. It'll start to flush because of the heavy crop that it had. It probably will only have one, maybe two flushes of vegetative growth for this year, which is all you really need on this tree. So by next year, this tree will still only be this big and we'll hopefully go through a, a, another reproductive cycle, another fruit production, and then you just do the same thing again next year.